Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to encrypt a folder with EFS. Now, for this to work, your operating system must be formatted NTFS. And this is only for Windows XP and higher operating system. This is great to uh, uh, for privacy, so nobody would have access to your files and folders. Now, let's begin. I can create an encrypted folder right here on the desktop, but for this tutorial, I'm going to encrypt a folder inside of my drive C. So I'm going to access my drive C by clicking start, clicking on computer, and double click on drive C. Now I'm going to right click and uh, create a new folder and this is going to be my private folder my encrypted folder I'm going to re rename this folder I'm going to name it EFS temp now I'm going to add this document to it a word document I just type the number one here for test I'm going to drag it and drop it into the folder. Let's pretend this is my document, right? All my uh, documents that I want it to be private. So I'm going to right click on the folder, click on properties, and under the general tab, I'm going to click advanced. And here I'm going to uh, put a check mark where it says encrypt cont content. To ensure data, click OK. Now here, click Apply, and it's gonna ask you if you want just the folder to be encrypted, or apply changes to the folders and subfolders. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that one, and click OK. So everything inside that folder is encrypted, private. Now it will automatically change the color of the word uh, to green double click to open and it also changes my document colors to green double click to open again to make sure and yes we have our number one written all over the place so I'm gonna close here now and log log in as a different user just to make sure I'm logged in right now as edit one want to log off and then log in as edit 2 just to make sure I'm logged in as the second user here edit 2 now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my computer or computer and access drive C and here is a folder that we created and here's a document now I'm gonna double click the document to open and a warning comes up it will not open the document you don't have access or privileges to open that document now this is great for uh, office if you're sharing a computer with a second shift or at home if you don't want to if you don't want anybody to have access to your files and folders now to remove the encryption all you need to do is log in as the default user who created the encryption select the folder right click and click properties and then under the general tab click advanced and here remove the check mark where it says encrypt content to ensure data click OK and click apply now when you click apply it's gonna ask you apply the changes to this folder only or apply changes to folder and subfolders so we're gonna select that one and now my EFS word is in black just the same way as is in any other folder now I can do this for my hard drive I can do this for a lot of things that I, I wanted to keep private 
Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. Feel free to email me if you have any questions.